cruises, concerts, live music venues. While the businesses are not still at pre-crisis levels, shares of companies in this space have come absolutely rocketing back in recent months. Check out Royal Caribbean. So it's basically quadrupled off the lows back in March, bookings already gathered steam, and this is before the virus is even really gone. Or take a look at shares of Live Nation near all-time highs. Remember, this was one of the first stocks to tumble about a year ago when fears of the virus really started to mount. These days, it's on a total tear. People are even ready to flock back to nightclubs. Look at shares of RCI Hospitality, ticker Rick. Unbelievable run, well above pre-crisis highs. So, the global vaccine rollout gathering steam, reopening optimism in full swing. More than 245 million shots globally administered to date. Some countries really making significant gains. This is only the beginning because we'll see more and more countries as we want to reopen our tourist sector, as we want to have our airlines functioning a, a bit more normally, is to fill them up with people who have been vaccinated. Bottom line, the reopening trade is red hot. But if you think back to say about 11 months ago, there was all this talk about how bailouts and the Fed credit backstops, they were going to prop up all these zombie companies that weren't going to thrive in the new economy. Well, it turns out there was nothing really broken about any of these business models. They were just massively disrupted by a once-in-a-century pandemic and it looks like consumers are ready to splurge on what they're offering 